Hello, everyone. We are live. It's our second stream today. How about that? It's our second stream today. I have to move the light over because I'm trying to get the light to flash because it didn't flash last time. So. There, I'm leaving it right there. Hopefully it flashes once. Because it's been flashing, and I have to get a video of it to send to the company. So we'll see if it does. Even though that looks weird. Um, Rick Hoppy is here. HCBBB, Raven Riley. <clears throat> Thanks, Raven, for moderating. Robert Kaczynski, Auric 3D. Yeah, Robert says, sure, flashing. No, you can see it on our video, our older videos. Erica is here. Erica says she sold her first pieces of art. I'm a real artist. Uh, details, Erica. Erica, what did you sell? How much did you, can you say how much you sold it for? Even if it's a dollar, that's fantastic. Evelyn is main here. Smoke Steve is here. Yeah, we found some ducks earlier. Do your duty, RN. Pat W., Janet Burnett, Baron Nico, Cynthia Moon is modding. Thanks, Cynthia. Evelyn in Maine. Lexi, Marissa Puglies, Harry Verma, Dr. McRib, William Cromer, Kinetic, Jensen Brown, um, Lexi, Shells, Pat W, 207, Genfa, Luann, Marcel Kern. Marcel is here. Marcel, remind me what country you live in. I keep forgetting. Max Rem, John Majewski says bonjour, bonjour. Berenico's in Japan. What are you doing in Japan, Berenico? Rita W is here. Erica, we need details. We need details on your art. Can you send me a picture of it? I'll show it on the air. Erica says, I told, sold four watercolors between $20 and $30 each. Wow. I would have taken anything, but no one haggled. I was also at a show, and I didn't want to underprice other artists there. Wow. That's so fun. Can we see what they look like? Congratulations. That's so cool. What a big moment. Basic J says, wow. Sarah is modding. Hello, Sarah. Jen RB is here. Cuella is here. That's a big deal. You sell your art. Yeah, we figured I figured we'd do a second stream because we did we did it we did a walking stream. If you missed it, we did a walking stream. Oh, Joanna 77 is here. See, Joanna said her mom Sharon Heberling broke her shoulder. Ugh. How did she break her did she fall? That's not good news. Joanna is here. So let's hope that Sharon feels better. I heard that, Joanna. Ugh. Uh, Dodger Blue is here. Do Your Duty RN is here. That stinks. No, I'm not cooking tonight. No cooking stream tonight. At some point we'll do a cooking stream, but not tonight. I'm not in the kitchen. Backyard Zoology is here. Shaf is here. Yeah, if you missed it, we did a stream live afternoon walk in Massachusetts. William says, I'm supposed to remind you, go on a trip. It's being looked into, William. It is being looked into.
Connor Murphy is here. Oh, Erica sent me pictures. Okay. Thanks, Lexi, for catching some of the walk. Erica said she sent me pictures of her art. Mm. I know my, my, my top kind of blends into the chair. The chair is blue. And I am, my top is black, but it's both dark and, you know, so I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Erica sent, oh wow, so Erica sent her stand. This is her stand. Okay, so that's Erica's stand where she was selling her art. How about that? That's pretty neat. And then here's some of her artworks. Look at that. Oh, thanks, Berenico. Berenico says, greetings from Japan, waiting for flowers for, to bloom. I'd love to visit there, Berenico. You're usually in Hong Kong, right, Berenico? I'd love to visit Japan. Would love it. It's at the top of my list. Um, Erica says, some of my art, the art at the stand was my friend Amy, who's a real artist. So that's Erica. It's very nice. And then here's another one by Erica. Look at this one. Ooh, hold on. Trying to get the whole thing in Erica, but that's most of it. Nice. And again, there's that stand. Very nice. Well, congratulations, Erica. That's awesome. Congratulations. Erica has been teaching herself. Well, she, I mean, she's been getting, she's been learning how to do art. She's been taking classes and stuff. She's gotten really good. That's awesome. No, I don't buy lottery tickets, so I did not buy a lottery ticket. Are they having another drawing tonight? I don't. I haven't really been keeping up. Um, Billy Joe Drage is here. Chip says I like it. Lexi says nice work. No, we don't do news studio tours. We do not do that. Brooklyn News. I'm sorry. Christine Atherton is here. Yeah, the light, it's just like it was nonstop flashing. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, last night, uh, Erica says, thanks, everyone, for the support. It's exciting. It's a milestone. Oh, Powerball, Pat W says. Jake from State Farm is here. Jake says, nice walking stream earlier. Good to see you, Jake. How are you, Jake? What's going on? Jake is here. I want it to be a little warmer, but at least it's not freezing. Hey, Eddie Smith is here. Eddie, I owe you a reply. Sorry, Eddie, I haven't gotten back to you yet. I got your message, though, Eddie. Good to see you, Eddie Smith. I'll get back to you. Eddie says he's stopping by. Thanks, Trax and Relax. Um, hey, K Body's moderating. Thanks, Kay. Connor is in Ontario. You know, we got interrupted last night because... There was that news. We, we streamed for like, what, an hour last night? And then there was some news, so we had to go cover that on Agenda Free TV. 
Actually, our stream last night was only 45 minutes long. But then we went on Agenda Free TV and covered the stuff there. So that can happen sometimes too. Marzell is here. Thanks for watching the uh, walking stream, Marzell. MJ is here. MJ, I reached out to you before because I was thinking of doing the cooking stream. I think it's a little late now, though. MJ, I was going to do the cooking stream where we cook the food, but I'd want to start that earlier, I think. It's a little late because I think that's going to take a little while. Next time I'll try to reach out to you earlier. I don't want to rush that stream, you know. We just have a bunch of food, a bunch of stuff here I want to make and try. We'll, we'll do it soon. Janet says, that's going to be a long stream. MJ says, okay, soon. Yeah, we'll try it again. I'll just, I'll reach out to you again. We'll, we'll figure some time you're around so you can watch it. Hey, Susan Stater. Good to see you, Susan Stater. Yes, Albany Media, we can see your messages. The mods can post cupcakes. Uh, somebody asked about cupcakes channel. The mods can post cupcakes YouTube channel. Thank you, mods. If they have it. If they have it, they can post it. April Coco is here. Let's thank all our mods, by the way. Kay is here. Raven Riley. Sarah. Thank you. I can post it, too, if the mods don't have it. It's just Cupcake L on YouTube. Oh, Raven Riley just posted it. Thanks, Raven. Raven did it. Yeah, I think for the um for the cooking one, we'd want to start that a bit early. That's my thought. Then more people can watch it. But even if we started at, you know, seven or something, that's probably better. The Ringa is here. Hey, Ringa X, what's happening? Maria's Kitty Cats is here. Budget Girl is here. Yeah, the idea, there's a bunch of stuff that, that you basically like add water to and stuff, and then you cook, and so we're going to just do like everything at once. There's all this stuff we need to try at once, so I want to I want to do it all at once. Uh, 
Vanta Blue is here. Hello, Vanta Blue. Beverly Ray is here. Kevin Michael Reed is here. We just started. We just started. MJ says, if no news, we could do the cooking stream on Thursday, maybe. Is that a good day for you, MJ? Like, what time? I might, Thursday night might be tough for me. Rook B9499 is here. MJ, you can message me if there are certain days. Uh, Kinetic says the Discord notification never went out. Is that true? Did, did people not get the Discord? I got the, the mod Discord, I think. Huh. Sarah, who do we talk to about that, Danny? That's not good. Oh, some people did get it. I don't know that I got one. Maybe some people got it, some people didn't. Sarah says Danny. So some people didn't get it. I'll message Danny. I got one from YouTube. He'll look into it. Thanks, Kinetic, for posting it in the general chat. Yeah, I always post on X, guys, you know, for this channel. I always post on um, Lookner channel on X. You can follow there because I always post before we go live. See, look. Oops. Live stream coming up 40 minutes ago. Jensen Brown is here. HCC, HCBBB Sweden is here. Darth Tater is here. Rebecca is here. MJ, if you want, if there's like better days to do the cooking stream, um, you can just message me and let me know. We can try to figure it out in advance. Country Girl is here too. All right, so something I will update you on is um, <clears throat> Lynn Powell is here. Lynn says, I got the YouTube but no Discord notification. Maybe I'll do a, a food stream with Margaret at some point. We'll see. It's possible. It's possible.
Pippi Longstocking is here. Erin McCune is here. Oh, MJ sent me a message. Thanks, MJ. I'll keep an eye out. Patty Combs is here. Hello, Patty. Kimberly Barr is here. Kimberly was with her horse, but she is home now. I know that my jacket is blending into the my jacket is blending into the chair. Uh, Bubba Twitcher, we don't have any, uh, yeah, I don't have any uh, agenda free TV fleece jackets. Maybe sometime in the future. Um, so last night during our 45 minute stream, by the way, this light has just stopped. It's never going to flicker again. I'm going to put it out of, out of frame. If it starts, no, that was just me. It went off because I did it. If it starts flickering again, uh, if it starts flickering again, I will uh, put it on screen. It's very frustrating because it flickered a ton and it kind of just stopped flickering once I needed to get it on camera. Thanks, Cruella. Jake says he'll come over and stand in the distance flipping a switch. That wouldn't be right, though. They have to be sweatpants. I can only offer the stuff that the, mer that the merchandise places produce, so I'm not going to make them myself. I don't think any of the places I use make sweatpants, unfortunately. Mike Rusakis is here. So um, last night in our 45-minute stream, we talked about how I was I was talking about the idea of building a computer. Do you remember this? And I was considering building a computer, which I've never done. And some of the viewers, I asked if people had done it, expecting that nobody would say they do it. And like half the people said they had some crazy number of people. Um. I was actually talking to Kinetic by, by today because Kinetic says he's built a bunch of them. Actually, I did some research online before even bringing it up with you guys. I looked it up online and the general sense I got from people was, no, it is do You don't have to be like a crazy expert to do it. You just have to be patient and, uh, and get, the, get the right components. Um, but it's not like a crazy thing to think you could do it. So, um, hey, PZ Papa Zula is here. So, uh, I talked to Kinetic, and we're, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about doing it, where I would just buy the components and maybe even try to live stream doing it. Could be a disaster. Yeah, Polly says another no notification from Discord on my end. Polly, I messaged Danny. He's going to look into it. Discord messed up today, sounds like. We're just getting started here anyway. So Kinetic thinks I can do it. No, I don't think the light flicker is the issue with an outlet. I think it's the issue with, I don't think there's an issue with the outlet. I think it's the issue with the light. But maybe it'll never flicker again. Marcel says you can do it for sure. Have you done it, Marcel? Marcel, you probably told me, you probably answered my question. Where do you live? I probably missed it. What country? Uh, 
Welcome, Polly. PC part picker. Well, like what I did is I went to, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust people who have done it before. Kinetic has done it before. Um, yeah, people suggested like the PC part picker thing. But I don't even really trust, I trust myself to know generally what I want, but not the specifics, so. We may, oh, Marcel's from Germany, but lives in Vancouver. Oh, I see. I probably forgot that, Marcel. I'd like to go to Vancouver sometime. Okay, thanks for reminding me, Marcel. I'd like to go to Berlin sometime, too. Um, so I'm really thinking of doing it. Lynn said, sounds like another DIY thing. I think it's a good thing to try to do. Micro center. There's one not that far, but again, I, I I think I'd like to maybe, the parts I can just order online. Cruella says, my mom built her computer, she's like 63. Yeah, Polly says, just like the toilet seat. Hey, I did install, it's probably easier. I did install the, uh, the bidet by myself. DB says micro center sells bundles. Okay, I see what you're saying. Kinetic thinks it'll be a good learning experience. Croat says go for it. I'm worried I'll, I'll break something. I'll break some expensive component. Jake thinks you'll be good. It's not like overclocking or anything. Building a PC is very satisfying. You know, as Jake says, I think it would be satisfying to do. I really do. It's something I've thought about doing and never did. Cruella says, if my mom can do it, you can do it. Now, do you think if I get all the parts, you're going to say yes? But should I try to stream it online or will that just be like with you guys or will that just be confusing for everybody and confusing for me? Marcel thinks picking the right parts is the most difficult part. The ring it says you can do it or be a bubbling guy trying. It will make a great stream. Well, I don't want to fail. Then I'm out a lot of money if I fail. The parts aren't cheap. DB says I will do I would do phases while live streaming. Yeah, Nan B says you have all the chat computer doctors here to help you. Yeah, I do think I might live stream, but like I'm not going to sit there. It's, it might not be great production value. Like because it'll be hard enough for me to do it without worrying about. Let me show a close up of of this angle or something. Michael says if you're going to do it definitely stream it. Wow, Mr. Passionate, very demanding. Hello, I am new to the stream. What's three interesting facts about yourself? So I'm supposed to interrupt the broadcast just to tell you three interesting facts about myself? All the other people aren't going to like that, I don't think. Sherry says I'd love that. Don't encourage him. Lil Cam is here. Sarah says you'll get a lot of armchair computer builders. It'll be hilarious. Oh, boy. Then I'll break something. It'll be really embarrassing. Alibaba says, yes, host, tell us three things about yourself. I guess I probably would have to stream it. Oh, it could just be a disaster. Jordan B is here. Wolf Howe says they would tune in for it. The Lucky Minute says it can be overwhelming, but it's actually really simple. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is you could do it in chunks. You do, it's, I don't need it. It's not like I can't. It's not like one of my computers broke. So I don't need it right away. So... I could like do a stream for a couple hours and, you know, do one part of it and then go away and then come back and do the next one. 
Seeing neon says it's the fear of the unknown. It's also the fear of like spending all this money on the parts. <laughs> At least I know if I spend money on the computer, I'm going to get the computer. Kevin Michael Reedson says it doesn't even take a couple hours to do. Kevin, you've done it before? But Jake said you need to get a good mini screwdriver set and have delicate hands. Don't want to slip and drive the screwdriver into the board or strip screws. As long as you're patient, you'll be fine. O17 thinks I could do it in under two hours. Not me. Uh, my Mr. Passionate, no problem. No problem, Mr. Passionate. Uh, because I'm streaming, I like to have, there's certain, I, I the streaming, I, I don't want to go cheap. I like to have like a higher end machine. For the streaming, it helps. I like having it like future proofed. I like them to last. So it's not going to be like literally like a top, top of the line, absolutely top of the line gaming computer, but I like getting uh, decent uh, specs on it. Kevin says he's done it many times. Oh, thanks for being a member, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's a member. Thanks, Kevin. You know, Kinetic was saying, Kinetic said I, I don't need a whole, Kinetic suggested getting a long, a long, uh, a long length number two Phillips screwdriver head and a number zero one. It's okay, Kevin. I don't know why that happens, Kevin, either. In, I've always used Intel stuff, so I would just use that. I would, I would use the same basic parts that I always have been getting because they've worked fine so far. Um, but uh, if anybody thinks I need special tools, let me know. I wouldn't want to have the right tools. Ruth likes AMD. April says, I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, I understand that. Jake says, either is fine. It's more of a fanboy thing these days. Mary says, her brother builds computers all the time. It can get real expensive. Bob says, need an anti-static bracelet. Now, you know, I just watched one very popular video on YouTube where the guy said, you don't need an anti-static bracelet. So I don't know what's up with that. O17 says, pretty sure all I used when I built mine was a big standard screwdriver. Kinetic says, you don't need special tools. It's easy these days. All right. Joel says, my next, tool, my next system will be a Mac Mini M2. Polly says, righty tidy. Don't rub your feet on the carpet before touching the components. I'm going to need you guys to remind me of everything. I would want to get like a, a, a desk, right? Like a table and do it on the table. Correct? Is that what I'm doing? You'd stand next to a table and do it at the table? Oh, yeah, I know. I wouldn't choose the components myself. I would have get some advice. Is that how you guys do it? Do you sit at a table or do you stand at a table? Mark French it was, it says it was a computer store here in Houston that would give you all the information you would need to do it yourself. They had every part you would need. There are some videos online that really go through it. Paul's Blind Soup for the Soul says you'll need a grounded wristband. See, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to get 700 pieces of, of different advice, conflicting advice from the chat. Hmm. 
It would be cool if you could set up an overhead camera, said Jig. I don't know, Michael Sotart, if people will be as enthusiastic as uh, uh, enthusiastic about sponsoring the components as they did as buying like the dollar fifty croissants. I I disagree with you on that assumption, but I appreciate your optimism. But would you do it, like, where do you do it? Do you do it sitting at a table or standing at a table? Like, what do you do? Can someone tell me that when you put it together? The Lucky Minute says, I have my own studio and special table just for products. I stand a lot. Anita Modaluski is here. Kevin says, I stand at a table. Brad says, you can sit or stand. Lynn says, sit sounds easier. Manic says, some standing, some sitting. <coughs> yes, there are YouTube videos. There are some good YouTube videos that, kind of, that go through the different steps. A workbench? I don't think I have a workbench. What is a workbench? <laughs> I don't even know. Kitchen table? Um, neither. Uh, the kitchen table I have is not great for assembly. But I have another table I could do it on. Oh, workbench is like this. I have another table I could probably do it on. We can build at my studio? But then, Kevin, that's just not realistic. Kevin, what if there's news and I'm sitting at your studio? I appreciate the offer, though, Kevin. I got to be near my new studio, though. Rick Hoppy says, you need a gold wristband. It has greater magical properties. Manic Miner says, I built a new PC three months ago. Absolute top-end machine. About $5,000 worth. It's amazing. Oh, the Discord one just went out. No. Thank you, Kevin, for the offer. I'm going to do it here. You know, it's also like, I don't know if I'll get it all done in one shot. Maybe I'll have to do several streams or something. If this is really happening. I, 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 part of me thinks like you should, I should do it. Part of me thinks like it's insane. Hey, because Ryan is here. Hey, because Ryan, what's happening? Ugh. Dana Leslie says, if you don't know what a workbench is, maybe you shouldn't build a computer. Just saying, ouch, ouch. Dana Leslie, ouch. <laughs> April Coco says, burned. <laughs> Lou Ann is here. Oh, thank you, Polly. Polly says towards your Comp USA purchase. Thank you, Polly. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that, Polly. Thank you. I think the viewers are going to be disappointed now if I don't do this. I think people are already going to are already anticipating me doing it. Yeah, I, I, look, the, the parts I generally know, I generally know roughly what parts I would get if I ordered it myself. So I have a general idea. And then I would just work with, you know, there are people who've done it here who I can get advice from on, on what specifically to get. I, 
I think if I could do it successfully, it would be a cool thing to do. The lucky minute thinks I could do it. How big a desk do you need? Uh, B Griff B says, if I did it, you can do it. Uh, how big a desk do you need for it? Probably something a decent size. MJ thinks I can do it. Jake says, I believe in you. Michael says, the idea is definitely a little bit crazy, but if you do it, people will get into it. All right, people think I can do it. I mean, could I just use this computer desk? Like, I, I'm, I'm streaming right now at a computer desk. It's pretty big. So could I just use this desk? And then, you know, I'd use this one and maybe take the monitor off of it. I'm, I'd probably, like, stream it on my phone or something like that. I don't know. Oh, this desk is a sit-stand. Yeah, I think I'd prefer to be sitting, though. Yeah, big enough for the tower and a couple bowls of screws and bits. I'll text Danny that maybe the Discord, some people are saying they got the... Maybe there's something weird going on with Discord. Danny will get into it. Thanks for letting me know. Gary says, give it a try and YouTube is your friend. Uh, Polly says, put down an old tablecloth or something to protect your desk. I actually also have some... Um, I have these like... Uh, kind of... I don't know if it's foam or rubber, but these like mats. That desk mats. The thing is, it makes it a little more complex doing it live. Because if I was just doing it by myself, I would just sit there with like YouTube videos and I would watch like four videos at once. Um, but if I'm doing it live, I mean, maybe I would just do it and people would watch me watching videos. I don't know. It just, it would be a slow process because I don't want to mess anything up. Lisa says, you have great people here to help you. Uh, Heather is here. Barb Filer is here. A lot of the, yeah, the parts, not all of them hook in, but a lot of them go into the motherboard, and then you got to attach the power supply and stuff like that. Rick says he repaired his old clothes dryer using YouTube videos. Shell says, Hubby is building one as we speak. We haven't seen him since dinner. Bob, the last few computers I've had have had liquid cooling, so I assume this one would too. But I don't know. It'd be a little cheaper to, to do it by buying the parts than buying it. Uh... than buying it, uh, you know, complete and whole. Sarah says, it won't be quite like looking forward to Paris, but it will be good. So. A 
God is my banner says, if you have a use for it, which I do, build it. 0175 says, I think you're overestimating how hard it is. If you can set up IRL equipment, you can build a PC. Because Ryan17 is new to Twitch. Oh, thanks, Launchpad GG, for resubscribing with Prime. Uh, with Prime. With Prime. With Prime. Thanks, Launchpad GG. Uh, big ball of yarn and uh, Sarah are moderating over on Twitch, by the way. Joseph Whitlock is here. The other thing I don't, I mean, I've watched videos about like actually assembling the thing, but I'm not familiar with the whole process of like setting up the software and stuff. All that stuff. I wonder how hard that is. How hard is all that? Yeah, the parts would probably would be a bit less than what I would pay if I bought it all together. Marcel says that's easy, just time consuming. The testing takes the longest. Testing, Kinetic thinks it's pretty straightforward. I better watch some more videos on this. Make sure I know what I'm getting into. I could see doing it and being like, oh, that was not that bad. I could also see trying doing it and being like, that was a disaster. Why did I ever do that? I honestly don't know which one it will be. It could be either of them. And I just don't know which it would be. I don't know. Veronica Singleton is here. <sighs> the lucky minute thinks it's easier than you think and very rewarding. Laura G says the software installation always took the most time when my husband built computers. Kinetic says either way would be entertaining. Except for me. It's not entertaining for me if it's a disaster. Fox 2319 is here. If it doesn't work out, can you return the parts? Not if you break the parts. Jake says, as long as you rely on one or two people with proper experience, it will be a success. Block out everyone else. Yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of the issue with doing it live. I think if I do it live, I have to have somebody in place to rely on. It's not going to work if I'm getting 300 different pieces of advice. It'll just never work. Connor says, just enough to know what plugs into what. Liquid cooled is a bit more complex. Kevin says liquid cooled for a first time builder. Nope. Really? Why? Now, I've bought computers with liquid cooling in them, but I didn't 
I don't have to do any, I don't have to put liquid in them. They're like self-contained. Kinetic says, I've been building PCs for 20 years. It's not as big a deal as you think. Kevin sounds pessimistic now. Kevin says, now you can do it. Beverly says, if you do it live, you can restrict, distract, chat to only a few people with you who can help. Well, I wouldn't want to restrict the chat, but I don't think I'd get caught up in it because it'll just be too much of a mess. Now, if I don't do it, everybody's going to be really disappointed, too. You know that? Kinetic says e liquid coolers are easy PC. Jake thinks air cooling has gotten so much better that everyone is saying liquid cooling isn't really necessary anymore. It's more for showing off with see-through cases and hardcore naming. Is that true? I don't know. Mini Snacks says, looking forward to this. Yes, Jimmy says, we are here for you. Right. It's about time management, but I, I'm not in a rush. I don't, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be done in two hours, you know? I, as long as it gets done, I don't really mind doing, you know, several streams where I'm spending a couple hours each one or whatever. It's fine with me. K says, my son says he didn't use ex expert, it doesn't use liquid cooler. Uh, Launchpad says, I have practically zero mechanical ability and I've built my last three or four PCs. No, no lights. I don't want the lights. Mini Snacks says setting up the windows isn't really that bad. I probably should maybe watch a couple more videos just so I know what I'm getting into. Dar says liquid cool CPUs are no longer needed. This this uh, this channel's become Linus Tech Tips. Loot your tech tips, right? Uh, Connect says liquid cooling isn't necessary and can become an issue if the pump fails, but it's good for overclocking in high demand use cases. Javaris is here. Hey, Javaris. The, the, if it was if it wasn't that expensive, then I'd be like, oh, I'll just do it in a second. Like, what do I care? Ick been dead. It looks like your LinkedIn post. Do you mean uh, the parts, the uh, part, you know, PC PC parts builder or whatever it is? Ick been dead is watching on Twitch.
Chenaish is here. PC parts picker. Ruth says too much advice can be a bad idea also. Well, I mean, there's, you know, just I'd like to have a, a basic idea of what to do, but. All right, well. I'll, I'll, I'm considering it. I'm seriously considering it. I'm seriously considering it. Uh, thanks, Michael. Uh, Joe Hart is here. What say what came by? I don't I don't want to try an old computer first. It's too much. Too much time. Maybe it'd be better, but too much time. Wesley Cook came by. Hey Wesley. Yeah, chat computer experts. We do have some experts, though, in the chat, I think. What happened here? Now my chair. There we go. Oh, all right. All right, quick news check. I'll feel like such a coward now also if I don't uh, if I don't do it. I'll be like, oh, you're chickening out. Hey, thanks, Janet Burnett, for the gift membership. So nice of Janet. Look at all these new members. Connor Murphy, Lucky Minute, Rebecca Moore, Dave E., Joe Edson, Mike C., Babs Bunny, Rachel Wyatt. Thanks, Janet. Janet gave a ton of memberships on the last stream. Thank you so much, Janet. That's so nice of you. The lucky minute says my dad started the computer doctor company. He's retired now. The light hasn't flashed, by the way, for whatever that's worth. Uh, okay, so I, I just got to decide. I got to decide. I got to figure it out. I think it might help me, though. Uh, you know, I watch uh, to watch some more assembly videos just to get a sense of what I'd be doing. Who thinks I'll make the right decision? We'll see. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I, did. I figured with the walk, I was like, well, I'll probably stream tonight. So the walk will be the first part of the stream. Cruella says, my mom fixes cars and works on computers. I'm sure you can do it. Maybe she's a genius. Marcel says, I don't know anyone who has done that. Can we watch you build it right here on your desk? That would be fun. <laughs> fun for you, maybe. Not so much fun for me. But maybe. 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 
Mini Snack says please. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? Is the worst case scenario that I buy the... I mean, you can return the parts if you don't use them. But is the worst case scenario that I buy the parts and I like break one of the parts? Is that the worst case scenario? Right? Hawaiian Flamingo says Carrie Holtzman does his live stream start to finish, no edits. Do you mean like building things? I don't, I'm not familiar with him. Getting shocked? Oh, getting shocked. Maybe breaking an expensive part in a really stupid way. Maybe that's the worst. Maybe that would be the, the really the, the big downside. Kinetic says the motherboard is the most delicate part. Don't do it on carpet. Cases. My husband says the worst case scenario is everything goes on sale right after you bought everything. Uh, Kay says putting all the wires in a small space is the hardest. Brad says getting shocked and breaking parts. Uh, okay, Hawaii. Yeah, John says they might not take parts back if they are suspected fried by static electricity. No, I don't think I could give a part pack if I broke the part. Ick Bin Dead says, I try to get B-grade stuff on Amazon, like 20% off just because the packaging got a bit of a ding on it, but the component is fine. Yeah, mini snacks. Whether I get one or buy one or make one, the idea is for me to be a decent machine that can do what I need it to do. Oh, John says you can't know if you static killed a part so it's subtle. I'll watch a couple more videos, see what I think. That's what I'll do. Brad says you can break pin connections. There's all this different advice about anti-static strap. There's all this different advice about it. Also, do I need like a magnifying glass? Like when you're trying to like get a thing into a little, you know, the pin receiver receptacle and get the pin in there. Like, is it really hard to see where you're putting it? How about that part? Uh, one of our viewers said, I think the worst case scenario is you build the computer 
but there are long running issues with it. Hey, that's a pretty bad, that's actually a good analysis there. What about that? What about that worst case scenario? Huh? Huh, folks? That'd be pretty bad. Mini snacks says flashlight on your phone. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. I do think it'd be a fun thing for the viewers. Kinetic says, I can help you di diagnose any hardware related issues. Kinetic, can you tell people, Kinetic, what is your background exactly in building computers? Can you say it, Kinetic? Tell the chat. Wolf Howell says you would have your inner core of texts that would be able to guide you. Mini Snacks says it's definitely worth building your own. You get better parts, better quality. God is my banner says take your time. We're not going anywhere. Rick says what's even worse is having an intermittent problem like your flashing light. Hey, Gibby Smoth. Hello, Gibby Smoth. Gas can says it's more expensive to buy it already built. That is true. I, it's not like insanely more expensive. It's not like 50% more expensive. John Guidry says go for it. Kinetic says I co-owned a custom PC shop from 2006 to 2016 and do it on the side now for Twitch streamers and YouTube content creators. So Kinetic says he co-owned a custom PC shop from 2006 to 2016. Gibby Smoth says building a PC is almost like putting a Lego set together nowadays anyway. Uh, Josh Gav says I've been doing it for 20 years. It's intimidating, but it genuinely isn't that complicated these days. You can use a website like PC Part Picker to build and ensure every part is fully compatible. A good way to calm the nerves. It's very fun to learn how it all connects. That's nice from Josh. Yeah, thanks, Josh. So should I trust, should I trust Kinetic, guys? Should I trust Kinetic? There's a good poll. We're doing a poll. So, so far on YouTube, the poll is 88% say trust kinetic, 13% say no. What you got to lose? Oh, over $1,000. <laughs> That's what I have to lose. Uh, in YouTube and Twitch, two people say trust him, zero say don't trust him. Uh, Margaret voted no. Margaret says don't trust him. Wow. I think Margaret just doesn't want me to be miserable because it'll make things worse for her.
So she's not really a neutral party. She'd rather I just, she just, rather, yeah, she says, she says I doxed her. She says I'd rather, um, I mean, for her, it's better if I'm just, if I don't have anything catastrophic happen. All right, well, the poll ended with 88% people saying trust kinetic. Over on Twitch, it was four vote yes and two vote no. So the chat thinks I should trust kinetic. Steve Miller says kinetic could be a threat actor using social engineering to take advantage of you and your community. Ryan the Gamer is here on Twitch. Yeah, Margaret is invested in Steve's peace and happiness, she said. Anyone have any uh, falling asleep tips for Margaret? She was trying to go to bed early tonight because she has like a lot of work tomorrow. And she was having some issues falling asleep, which I, which I have the same thing. If I have like a lot to do the next day, I can have a really hard time falling asleep. Anybody have any suggestions? You can put them in the chat. Melatonin, K suggesting substances. Read a boring book. Mel Two people said melatonin. Here you go, the chat sleep experts. Hot shower, chat sleep experts. Here we go. Warm milk. Okay, Margaret says, I think I will take a melatonin actually. Thanks, chat. Heart emoji. Hmm. I guess she already takes it. MJ said melatonin too. I've never taken it. I've known people who take it. I never take it. Kay says, I've taken it for decades. I can't, I am not, this is not an endorsement of melatonin. I've, I've, I know nothing about it and I've never taken it. So do not in any way take this stream as an endorsement of melatonin. I am not speaking about it at all because I don't know anything about it. Marcel, that doesn't sound promising. Joker's lady is here. She says the best advice would be to stop watching the stream. I don't think so. This stream could put you to sleep, I think. I think. Hotel USA says nighty night extra traditional medicinals tea. Hey, you know what I learned about today? Oh, Gr Grim Actual is here. You know what I learned about today? I, I either didn't know this or forgot this. So when I read it today, I, today I was like, oh, opioids. The word opioid is it, it derives from opium. So opioids are like substances that have like effects like opium would. That's where the word comes from. And I was like, oh. Look, Wikipedia, opioids are a class of drugs that derive from or mimic natural substances found in the opium poppy plant. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it's very interesting that like, Humans discovered this poppy plant, this opi does this. That opium, uh, the opium poppy plant does this. And for a while, humans were just all excited about it and used it and prescribed it a lot. And then they were like, wait a second, it can have some really harmful effects. 
So I, I was, I was, it was very interesting. I was reading about the history of opioids today. And eventually certain substances were derived from the plant or isolated from the plant. And then eventually you have synthetic opioids, which are, you know, just created by humans from scratch, uh, but can mimic or even exceed, uh, far exceed what opium can, uh, the opium plant can do. Um, Evelyn says bad, bad stuff. But yeah, really, I mean, it's this crazy thing where in the, over, the, over recent years, um, the number of overdose deaths in the U.S. has gone up like crazy, and most of it is because of these synthetic opioids, which I just was reading a bunch about this today, all the fentanyl stuff, but fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. It's an artificial substance which mimics, but it's much stronger than what uh, the opium poppy plant would do. And there are these like crazy graphs about, uh, you know, um, how much overdose deaths have gone up in the U.S. It's crazy. Look at this. This is National Institute, uh, National Institute on Drug Abuse. So it says um, there, national, this is basically total overdose deaths in the U.S. That's, that's through 2021. Look at that graph. Look at what happens between like, you know, 2010 and 2021. And look at just the last few years. And most of that, the majority of that is synthetic opioids. It's crazy. And I guess with fentanyl, I was reading an article about it. Fentanyl is, it's very cheap to produce, um, and what was it? It's cheap to produce, and it's small, so it's easily smugglable. It's um, and uh, what is it? There was a, there was a number of uh, I was reading this article about what all these things that make fentanyl um, like especially dangerous. Let's see if I can find it. here. Let me just sign in here. And I'm gonna, I want to, it was really interesting. I was reading this article, it was really interesting. Let me just um, pull it up for you. I kind of got sucked in. Hang on one sec. Give me one moment here. Give me one moment. I'm pulling up this article I was reading today. If I can find it here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's this article, uh, Fentanyl Cannot Be Defeated Without New Tactics by the Economist. And where was the part in it where it talked about um, Yeah, fentanyl and its analogs are a near perfect product. They're saying for like drug dealers. Um, 
so cheap to make that even a uh, that even sold for 50 cents a pill it is still hugely profitable so powerful and addictive that a captive market is almost guaranteed so easy to make with such a variety of common chemicals that it can be produced more or less anywhere so concentrated that it is easy to hide and smuggle So it's just a huge, uh, I'd read about it and kind of knew something about it, but I was really reading a bunch about it today, and it was just crazy, this whole issue with these very powerful, cheap, synthetic opioids, you know, these, these substances that humans just create from scratch that mimic, but also are much more powerful than, say, what an opium poppy plant could do to you. And they're very dangerous, and people are ODing on them. And also, I guess, with fentanyl, there's, there's like no good way to tell often whether drugs that somebody bought actually has fentanyl in it, in it, other than doing a lab test on it. So people think they're getting something, and it actually has fentanyl in it, and then they just OD on it. Randy J says they mix it with other drugs a lot. Uh, but I mean the 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 uh, the the and oh yeah and look at this graph here in the Economist article. This is the drug overdose deaths from synthetic, that's not natural, non-natural, you know, artificially made opioids like fentanyl. U.S. drug overdose deaths. So back in like 2012 or 2013 or 2014, couple thousand people were dying from synthetic opioids. Now it's 75,000 as of 2023. It's like three, I don't know if it's like three quarters or you know, 60, 70% of the total overdose deaths. It's crazy. So I was just reading a bunch about that today, but I got in it because I was reading about opioids and then I started reading about fentanyl. Anyways, this is a very good article. I don't know if you can access it. Uh, you might be able to read it if you're, even if you don't have a subscription to The Economist, you might be able to read it like if you sign up, if you like, maybe they give you like a, you let you read five articles for free or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's crazy. Um, and the stuff is really, it's really cheap to make and it's easy to make and it's easy to smuggle. There was one other thing I read about it. And one of these articles I read, it said something like, it said something like, Usually it's smuggled in very small quantities, like only a couple pounds. And I read some insane thing like a couple pounds of it is enough to make 50,000 doses of it or something like that. Don't hold me to those exact numbers, but that's the bit, you know, it's just, it's very concentrated. And it can be smuggled in these small amounts. Anyways, so I was reading about that today. Crazy. April Coco says you're dealing in micrograms, very potent. Hotel USA says it's tainted every drug on the street. It's not just opioids. Alibaba says there's a YouTube video of a police officer that goes into OD just from a check on a bad character's car, and it was only a teensy flake of it. Christine Atherton says it's rampant. Cruella says people are straight up buying fentanyl over heroin nowadays. Now, Lori Murphy says, I had fentanyl in Versed when I had my wisdom teeth pulled. So for years, just to be clear, fentanyl was used as an anesthetic. You know, something you give somebody if they're going to have like an operation or something. Um, right, if I, rem if I remember right. Right. 
Oh, actually, now, National Institute on Drug Abuse says fentanyl is used, typically used to treat patients with severe pain, especially after surgery. I thought it was also used as an anesthetic. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Let me look it up. Oh, look, Mayo Clinic. Fentanyl injection is used to relieve severe pain during and after surgery. So I was not wrong. National Institute of Health. Fentanyl is extensively used for anesthesia and, is that analgesia, pain relief in the operating room and intensive care unit. Analgesia. Analgesia, I'm sorry. So, yes, I was not wrong. Even though I'm not an expert, I was not wrong. Um, Joanna says, my grandmother had fentanyl patches for pain. So just to be clear, there are medically approved and supervised uses of it. Terry says, fentanyl patches are used in hospice. Susan says, it's still used in surgery. Bob says some of these people got addicted to legit painkillers and have to turn to illegal substances once the pipeline stops. Kay says I had surgery a couple weeks ago and they used it in the anesthesia. I'm not sure why, um, what was it? I was reading about, so like, what is it about, why in recent years has it become so much more prevalent? Um, did they just figure out how to make it cheaper or something? You know, because it's been around for a while. History. Wikipedia says it was synthesized in 1959. But I was trying to figure out what is it about, why did it get so much more prevalent? Case says over prescribed. Sarah says cheaper. The cartels. By the way, I think in the U.S., the main suppliers of the fentanyl coming in are Mexican cartels, if I have that right. I think The Economist talked about that. Council, fentanyl in the U.S. opioid epidemic, Council on Foreign Relations. Um, uh, illegal fentanyl supplies are largely produced in China and Mexico and then smuggled into the United States. Analysts say the opioid epidemic started with the overprescription of legal pain medications in the 1990s, but it has intensified in recent years due to influxes of cheap heroin, fentanyl, and other synthetic opioids supplied by foreign drug cartels. Fentanyl was legally manufactured and prescribed as an intravenous anesthetic beginning in the 60s. Its illegal manufacture and distribution has become an extraordinary threat to, to public health. The growing availability of illicit fentanyl, often disguised by drug cartels to appear as legal prescription opioids, opioids has exacerbated the crisis. Look at this. Uh, fentanyl's extreme potency often make, also makes the drug more addictive and more deadly. 
further fueling the crisis. A lethal dose requires just 2 milligrams of the drug, an amount roughly equivalent to 10 to 15 grains of table salt. This is crazy, too. Um, the U.S. Congress Joint Economic Committee found that the opioid epidemic cost the U.S. nearly 7% of gross domestic product in 2020. Most fentanyl in the United States is smuggled across the border with Mexico. Smugglers send it across in vehicles or with pedestrians who can travel with small, easily concealable amounts of the drugs because of its high potency compared to other illicit narcotics. The median weight seized is just 2.6 pounds, which contains more than 50,000 lethal doses. That's what I was talking about. Crazy. China was once the dominant source of fentanyl coming into the U.S., but the flow has significantly decreased since authorities banned production of all fentanyl variants in 2019. However, China is still the leading manufacturer of fentanyl ingredients known as precursor chemicals. Most of the fentanyl smuggled into the United States from Mexico is made with chemicals from China. Mexican drug cartels are the leaders in fentanyl production. Two organizations, the Sinaloa Cartel and the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, manage most of the production and distribution networks. Between 2017 and 2021, 86% of fentanyl traffickers were American citizens. Anyways, um, it's crazy. I was reading this today. I'll, I'll, I'll post that CFR article in the chat as well. But it's crazy. I mean, I, I, I'd known something about the fentanyl thing before, but I was really reading about it today and being like, wow, this is really crazy. So it's this really powerful, deadly, cheap, easy to produce drug that's killing more and more Americans and probably people around the world. Joanna says it's not one drug. It's better thought of as a family of synthetic opioids that are structurally similar. By the way, 100,000 overdoses in the U.S. or more, was it? In 2023, what's the number in 2023? Uh, in 2023, the overdose death rate topped 112,000 in a 12-month period for the first time. According to the CDC, uh, um, that's from NPR. So 112,000 people is basically like one out of every 3,000 people in the U.S. died of an overdose in 2023. Crazy. Cruella says, it's bad with my native community and it makes me so mad. Uh, Golbaki, Golovki Superstar says, I work in substance use treatment and research. It's a, it's a huge problem because many times people don't know they have it in their system. But it's very concerning. You know, it's not going away because it's easy to make. And it's not being made from like plant. It's not being made from like the opium plant. It's just being made with these ingredients that people can get their hands on. I guess common ingredients, and e roughly easy to obtain, from what I understand. Manic miner says, and very cheap. Terry Cole, did you mean to say ER, not ED? I'm not sure. So, just wanted to pass that along. I was reading about that today, and I was like, wow, I didn't realize all these details. Oh, ED is emergency department. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Okay. Cherry Cole says I'm in the emergency department. I see it every single day.
So there. So I wanted to pass along and mention that because I was ta I was reading it today and being I was like, wow. Jesse says, I watch a YouTube channel from the streets of Kensington, Pennsylvania. They show people addicted to fentanyl and what they are going through. It's bad. Uh, CDC says fentanyl is up to 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. Just unbelievable. Many people are unaware, may be unaware their drugs are laced with fentanyl. It is commonly mixed with drugs like heroin, cocaine, and, met, and meth, metamphetamine. Is that meth? Methamph methamphetamine, sorry, meth. And made into pills that are made to resemble other prescription opioids. Drugs may contain deadly levels of fentanyl and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. It's nearly impossible to tell if drugs have been laced with fentanyl unless you test your drugs with fentanyl test strips. Unbelievable. Just crazy. Evelyn says they put it in everything. David says my cousin died from it. I'm sorry to hear that, David. All right, so. What is this here? <clears throat> Gas cans was watching. All right, well, some some random topics tonight, some different topics. But I think we're getting close because I did a stream earlier. So this was this was like part two of the stream. Beth asked about the shirt. Beth Hoover Fitness, if you have a shirt, that means you're a member. Somebody might have gifted you a membership. Um so So we talk, you know, I'll, I'll look in, I'm going to look into the computer thing, guys. It seems like people want me to try to build a computer. We'll have to see. But check out those articles if you want, or just like Google fentanyl and you can find articles about it. But it's, it's, you know, if you start reading the details about it, it's like, it's scary. Uh, we'll talk about coming trips soon. The next out of the country's trip I have not decided on yet. Looking into it. Oh, MJ, thanks for the gift memberships. Hey, thanks, MJ. I appreciate that. Very nice of you. Look at all the new members. Trisky, Kimberly, Joanne, Brian, Son, Christine, uh, sorry, Trisky, Liz Marie, Pro Cannabis Warrior, The Fly in NYC, Callie M, Cherry Cola, MNP, Marissa Pugliese. No, that Marissa was already a member. King Loso, Andrea B. Thank you. Thank you, MJ. 
J and P was moderating too. Hey, uh, so I appreciate you guys coming by. So um, if you missed it, we did a whole walking stream earlier. We did a walking stream, guys. So you can watch the walking stream. It's right there. It's on the ch walking stream. I'll post a link to it. Share. Okay, oh, lost her shirt in the her uh, membership shirt. It's all right. So check out the walk stream where we went on a walk. It was fun. We had a good time. And uh, we're going to be doing this stream soon where we make the food that's a bunch of food. A bunch of it, a bunch of it uh, MJ sent. I got I to gotta connect with MJ and figure out a time for that. The light did not flash tonight. I don't know what's going on with the light. It has been flashing on it's nonstop, and then when I needed it to flash so I could show the company, it has not flashed since. It flashed at the start of last stream, and then when I put it, when I moved it and put it on camera, it stopped flashing, and it, and it hasn't flashed for two straight streams. So we'll have to see. Um, so we'll do that. We got more, more stuff to come and news coverage and all that stuff. But I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and thanks for talking to me about the computer thing. Uh, let's thank our moderators. The moderators are so awesome. Uh, David Green and Sarah. Big ball of yarn, K body. Oh, MJ, I'll check the message. Thank you. Raven Riley. JA and P was here. Shout out to all of our mods. Okay. John, I didn't see a message. John, you said you sent me a message, but I don't see it here. I'm checking. I don't see it here. I just look on both my accounts. Uh, Lego Mike. Uh, sorry, thanks to all of our viewers for being here. People like Lego Mike and Denal the Hamster. Michael So Tart. Did I thank Raven Riley and Cynthia Moon for moderating? Raven Riley, Cynthia Moon, K Body. Thank you. Lori and Mike, thanks for being here. Ryan the Gamer, Red Squirrel. Amy, Marissa Puglies, Darren Markley, Ruth Grafasi, Evelyn in Maine, Croach Shamblin, Kim Zink. Thanks for being here, everyone. If there's big news tonight, we'll cover it. You know we'll cover it. Oh, John wrote me and said... Um, J.A. wrote me and said, building a computer relatively easy, including hardware setup and software installation and setup. I built one back in the day. Only reason I haven't built one is recently is due to personal situations. So John thinks I can do it. John, John is a vote I can do it. Thank you, John, J.A. 
Well, I'm considering it. I'm really considering it. Beth Hoover Fitness, thanks for being here. Louise, Tatermong, Rob Zoso. Thanks, Kinetic. They say I should trust you. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I decide. Mark A. Drail. A Drally? Skid Mark, he says. <laughs> Thanks, Kinetic. Well, we'll see. Let me let me look over a couple of videos and See what's up. Thank, hey, Red Squirrel, thanks for the Bye Bye sticker. Thank you, Red Squirrel. So nice, Red Squirrel 82. Thank you. Much appreciated. Croats says, if you do it, the world's best computer will be made. I don't know about that. Sarah was modding too. Thank you. Darren Markley, thanks for being here, Darren. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. I really appreciate you joining me for this stream and the previous stream. Go check out the walk stream we did. It was fun. Um, wrapping this up, MJ, thanks. Uh, thanks, by the way, MJ, again, for the gift memberships. Uh, and thanks to everybody who donated. That's so nice of you. Um, Baron Nico and Polly, Janet Burnett. Uh, thanks, Kevin Michael Reed, for becoming a member. So nice of you. Uh, Randy J says, if you build it, they will come. That's what Randy said. William Cromer, thanks. Chucky's Chicklet, thank you for being here. Lego Mike. Dillamond. All right, Cherry Cola. All right, guys, wrapping it up now. Thank you for watching. Jamila. Uh, more streams soon, and we'll see you guys very, very soon.